Well guys, today is, I think it's October 28th. I want you to look around. This is where I am right now. I'm somewhere on I-10 off of Whitewater. I have a pre-construction meeting today. What you see around me, see all, you see all the desert and stuff? See, that's how life used to be. Before technology, all it was was the wind blowing, cactus, some brush. Now with all this technology and stuff, we kind of like have lost our way where we have to realize in order to be successful, man, you got to know how to talk to people, man. It's not, a, if you don't know how to talk to people or help people get what you, or influence people to help you help them get you what you want, you're not going to have anything, man. That's what I had to learn, man. That's why I took, that's why I like sales so much because all sales is, is exchange of value. I'm giving you something in return to help you solve a problem to take you out of pain. Just finished listening to my Kevin, Kevin Hogan CD and like one thing he talked about like a lot of people were in pain and they're willing to fail to avoid being rejected and get a, a live a lower life rather than fail a little and do more. And you think, Martin, what are you talking about, bro? Well, just think about it. I mean, I want you to drive around. I was like, I, 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 I hate to hit on the luxury cars, but let me just cut to it, man. I want you to, if 76% of people are living paycheck to paycheck, if you're commuting two and a half hours to work each way just to pay your mortgage, do you really need a luxury car? But if you don't have that luxury car now, because I've been there, I've been there, I had the BMW 2008, then you feel like, hey, I'm not as superior or I feel bad. Let me tell you. Unless you have extra money to spend and you have money to cover your bills and you have at least an extra hundred to fifteen hundred dollars a month after paying your rent, paying your mortgage and paying for that luxury car, I would just pump the brakes, man. Pump the brakes. Maybe during my time before leasing, it was worth it to have a luxury car and be cool. But now that I'm 51, sometimes I think about it. Maybe I should go buy myself a Land Rover. I'd be looking. I'd be doing it, too, man. I'd be looking at those Land Rovers, my brother be look good. Cut my hair, man. Keep my six pack. Or what about a Audi? What about a one of those A7 Audis? Those cars look good too, I think. Or what about the Mercedes? I like going, I like being in San Bernardino, man. Driving through the hood, seeing all these Mercedes. I've seen the coupes. I've seen like, what is it? The small baby CL 500, whatever. Should I get one of those? But I said, no. I need to, one thing I got to do. Finally, I got to pay off this student loan. Then I got another business. I'm trying to bring in an extra $10,000 a month. I want to see if I can not put away a good hundred, $150,000 this year so I can start investing in apartment complexes because I already see with all the rent control that's in California, the landlords now, once a person moves out their apartment, they're going to push up the rent. So I'm going to, I'm, you're going to see rent like start skyrocketing. It won't look, it look like at first rent control is having a good effect, but it's going to, rent's going to skyrocket. So now that means that's more homelessness or more people at the gas station. Hey man, can I get, can you give me a dollar for some gas? Bro, Sister, or whoever you are, a dollar is not going to get you a gallon of gas. You need $4.39. At the very least, you should ask, Sir, can you give me $4.19 for a gallon of gas? That's all you got to say. Just cut to the chase. It's like, don't be like, I hate that. Go to the gas station. They're like, oh, meandering. Just say, hey, bro, I'm out of gas. I like, okay, I've been there, man. Give them the money. Boom. But they're like, they. but then the problem is, once you get your gas money, then you want more money. So do you want gas money or do you want money to drink? You want money for gas and alcohol, gas and food? You learn to set your attention. And that's what I like about sales because once a person tells you no, that's when the conversation began. Like in my book I have reading right now, Split the Difference, you want people to tell you no. At first, you know, I was like always yes, yes. In this new society with the internet, you need people just to get the get that negative feeling out now. So okay, so since it says no, so it seems based on what you're saying that I have not gotten your trust to get this product. Is there anything else that like, what else do you think is causing you to say no that I'm causing you to have a problem with? So you gotta learn this to bring those negative emotions out now. No use to pretend. And now let me relate this to the luxury car so you guys can understand it. 
certain sometimes you think when you have a luxury car that you have success that's the same as when you have the word yes yes martin let's get this done okay but then I got to follow that question up with, yes, Martin. I said, okay, great. I'm going to see you done. But um, how did you come to the decision to move forward today so quickly? Pause. And, and how will you get your people to use this product and get their buy-in? And is there anyone else in the company that you think I have to talk to in order to get their buy-in and make them accept the project? Or is, is there... How do you feel about maybe someone at the company not feeling as enthusiastic about the product that we're buying? What do you think we can do? See, that's what I'm going to teach you, man. I'm going to teach you sales from the engineering point of view. I got an MBA. I got an engineering degree. But you know what it all comes down to? Sales. You know, way back in the caveman days, there was no such thing as lawyers, police, um, school. Was a, uh, people didn't even talk. People didn't even have clothes. It was like the person who used the best body language, the best grunt, they got what they wanted. And that's what I want to teach you. Because now as we enter into like this internet age, the advantage that I'm going to teach you that you won't have over some of these other people, they don't even know how to talk to people, man. I mean, they, luckily for you, some of like the only competition, like the person who like does a lot of training, the good households, people who spend money on themselves, or people who've been grandfathered in their money and they've given them some skills and tell them to be successful. Which means you don't see a lot of people from successful families, family people that do training, or people with good skills walking around with tattoos on their arms. Maybe if you're military, I don't know, but you don't see that kind of stuff. And that's what I want to teach you because you just got to learn how to listen to people. They say, say no. You say, okay, I understand. You should say no. And how else... Am I making you scared? Is it because I'm tall? Is it because I'm black? You don't like my teeth? Is it because one eye is up, one eye is down? Do I stutter? You don't like that? So get all those O's up. Yeah, okay. So I agree, I agree that son. Now, um, based on what you're saying, which one of those do you think I need to overcome so we can like at least get you a product to get you out of pain or to get you a product that helps you save money or get you a product that helps you be successful? Because you already have the problems. So even if I walk away, these problems are going to exist. So even if you hate me, let me help you. You give me the money that I, I take off. I'll just check in with you. Hey, this is Martin. How are things going? Can I help you out? Boom, move on. And that's what you're going to learn, man. I've done telemarketing. Hello, this is Martin. I'm calling. I want to see if you, you're ready to sell your house. Or hello, this is Martin Caller from Equitas Capital. Would you like to have a quote for refinance or, have you, or your house? Or hey, this is Martin. Calling from Golden Tiger Martial Arts. Hell, hello, this is Martin with uh, Costco Home Decorating. They want to come over here and schedule a home decorating appointment. Many appointments. I mean, those are just some of the things I've done. Or just when I used to rent my own duplexes out. Hey, this is Martin calling you back. I saw you put a, you, you replied to my ad for a duplex. That one I was pretty bad on. Probably won't teach you about that. I got the worst tenants because you know why I got the worst tenants? I didn't have no cheddar, man. If I had, if I was smart and had some extra cheddar, I could have had like better qualifications, looked at people more. Yeah, I'm going to look at their credit. I don't so much care about their credit. I want to see how much money they come up with because that's where I've lost money because when it comes to managing property, you got to have money in return because if not, you'll make bad decisions and like rent control. Like, I, I mean, that's why I like think about rent control and stuff and all that. It's like in order to be successful, unfortunately, in this society, you got to take that extra money you have, reinvest it in yourself, reinvest it in training, build yourself up so you can go out and talk to higher level people like I'm going to do at the Breeders' Cup. I'm going to be serving people at tables or people, six chairs at a table. People paid a thousand dollars a piece. I don't need a tip. I don't need anything else. All I need to know is how these people had enough money, whether they used a credit card, sold drugs, did porn, worked 80 hours a week. I just need to learn, hey man, how did you spend $1,000 on a table for two days? That's just a table, not counting the alcohol. That's what I want to teach you. You need to get around people that know how to get things done and know how to make money. Because like I told you, I'm paying $1,870 for my apartments. As if you looked at my video yesterday, you saw all those look, fulfillment centers, $14, $15 an hour, time 40. 
Oh, I keep trying to do the math. Maybe it's 600 times 4, 2,400. After taxes, you're looking at about maybe 2,000. I may have, I'm maybe 2,000. That's if you're lucky to make the $15 an hour. And that's if they give you 40 hours a week. Because you see how all these places are hiring. You know what happens if they keep hiring? That means there's no be no overtime, which all you're going to make is straight time. And then after that, they was like, hey, we don't have enough people. We're going to cut hours. So you may not even make that, whatever, barely $1,800, $1,900. And that's barely enough to cover your rent. And that's not even covering food. But what I want to teach you, I don't want you to be like, if you're at a fulfillment center, I want you to listen to me, learn my skills. Just take it. If you want to use it, use it. If you don't, don't. But I want to teach you how to reinvest that money in yourself so you can start building yourself up like a tornado. I want you to start off at the bottom and work your way up. Hey, $2,000 a month, $3,000 a month, $4,000 a month, $10,000 a month. That's what I'm shooting for right now. And your goal should be like, how many paychecks can you get beyond your existing paycheck where you don't jeopardize your current paycheck? So this past month, I was able to get, I got two checks that came in yesterday, two checks before. So I got four checks this month beyond my existing paycheck. Five, beyond my existing paycheck. And do you know 76% of people live in paycheck to paycheck? So that means I've gotten more checks in one month than a person who works one month gets in one month or something like that. And why I'm talking to you about why you should t ease back on those luxury cars, because in the end, even if that person thinks you're cool, does it really matter if you're broke? Do you want to have a luxury car, living in that luxury car? I be seeing people outside the gym after they after they finish with the um their gym. They're in the car for like ten or twenty minutes. Like, hey man, you got some place to go, bro, sister, anybody? No, I don't have anyone because I got I don't have enough money to pay for my place. So I got to go home to mom and dad. But mom and dad are sick of looking at my face too. So all I can do is sit in my Audi, my Land Rover, my Porsche, my Corvette. My, uh, what do they call it? The um, Camaro. Till I can go home. I don't want that to be you. I want you to have money, extra money in your pocket. Like I say, put a hundred to five hundred dollars a month. Put that money up. Have it. And then I want you to be upset. Man, I wish I could have a luxury car, but I'm broke. I wish I could have a Range Rover, but I'm broke. But I want you to have cash on your pocket. Because let me tell you, when this 2020 recession comes, I bet you I can get you, help you get like a Land Rover or Audi for like five, ten thousand dollars $10,000. People will be fire selling their stuff soon, man. So if that happens and you got some extra money, then get the luxury car. Until then, I want you to keep that money and work. Sign up, subscribe. Like when that 2020 recession hit comes, like I told you, those fulfillment centers, there's going to be some cutting.